Hello everyone, Justin Wingate here from TM Television, your local avid reseller in the DFW area and beyond. Before I go any further, I want to preface the rest of the video with this. This video is specifically geared towards those that have and maintain Avid ISIS shared storage systems in their facility, and even more specifically, I'll be talking about Avid ISIS 5000 and 5500. Part of my day-to-day -day here at TM Television is assisting our customers deal with the ins and outs of maintaining their ISIS shared storage systems. And recently, I and the rest of the support staff here at TM encountered some pretty scary situations where data loss was a real possibility due to drive failures within those ISIS systems. So in response to those cases, my goal was to produce this hopefully short but informative video on just a few of the ways that you can proactively get ahead of catastrophic failure of your system. By design, Avid ISIS is built to be a rock-solid system that can allow for reliable bandwidth and performance, all with the peace of mind that if a drive fails, you've got a global hot spare within the system already that will take the place of that failed drive. Remember that of the 16 total drives in the ISIS engine, one of those drives is a hot spare, and the other 15 are configured into three RAID 5 virtual disks, or VLANs as they're sometimes called, each consisting of five drives. So that if a single drive fails within a VLAN, it's okay because the hot spare will take over for that failed drive and join the RAID set. It's okay to lose one drive in the VLAN, but what happens if you have two or three? Get my drift? So the only way to try and prevent this kind of situation is to proactively look at the disks and see if they are showing any kinds of errors so that AVID support can be engaged for replacement drives to be RMA'd as soon as possible. How do you check the disks? I'm so glad you asked. Let's talk about the tools used for this kind of work and where to get them. You know, if you're maintaining an ISIS system, you're uh, more than likely very familiar with the ISIS management console. And this is really sort of where we do most of the maintenance on the ISIS, of course, creating workspaces and users. But what we really want to be looking at is not the management console, but in order to really take a deeper look into your ISIS, you need to be looking at the ISIS itself. So I actually have a remote desktop uh, session here uh, into our little ISIS 5000. As we can see, the launch pad here on the desktop of the ISIS shows all healthy. The system director is running. The metadata has been saved, the storage manager looks all healthy, so all is green, all is well in the world. Not too concerned about that. What I'm really concerned about is jumping into the Mega Raid Storage Manager. If you don't have Mega Raid Storage Manager installed and some uh, versions of ISIS uh, did not come with Mega Raid Storage Manager installed, I would encourage you to download uh, the latest version through Avid's website. So I'll leave the link in the description, but basically Avid's knowledge base has a page uh, that you can download uh, a good version there. So it's, it's a fairly quick install, not a big deal. And when it pops up, it should show the IP address of the controller itself, or really the, the system itself. Uh, and so it's pretty obvious here, I've only got one engine, but that's the one I want. So I'll click on the IP address and it pops open the username and password. Now this is not the ISIS uh, management console username and password, this is the Windows login. Now, I'm not going to go through and explain everything that happens in the Mega Raid Storage Manager. I'm just going to simply look at this as a, what are you looking for when you want to do a quick check every morning, maybe every end of every day. So in the Mega Raid Storage Manager, we're going to focus on these three tabs here, the dashboard, the physical, and the logical. So it will you'll immediately see, if it's got warnings and things, it will have popped up a window saying, hey, something's degraded and yada, yada, yada. But let's just say you're not getting any warnings. Maybe you're getting some slow playback on the editor side. Uh, you're getting some complaints and maybe you're getting some long disk IO warnings in the management console. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the logical tab. This is the way I'd like to do it. You can click on the physical tab too. Uh, but this is a good way you can check. Does it see all 16 slots yet? Does it see your global hot spare within the system? And it should. So under the logical, I like the logical view simply because it does kind of split them out into the virtual disks. So here we see that there are, are three of those virtual disks, zero, one, and two. They're all optimal. And what you want to do is just come down through here and just take a look at each disk. And over here in the right hand pane, you're looking for media error count. If you see any numbers other than zero there, that's something to be kind of concerned about. So as I go down through here, I probably won't see any media error counts. So I'll click on each and every drive. I don't see a single media error count, which is good. That's, that's my first red flag I want to look for are media error counts. Now, if you do see 
uh, a disc that does have maybe a count of one or two or four or something like that, don't immediately freak out. Give it a day, give it two days, give it three days, check it again. And if the number is increasing, then you know you do have an issue with that drive. So that's the Mega Raid Storage Manager. Quick, quick way just to do a real uh, high level overview of your drives. The other place to check the health of your disks, and I think this is the most important place to check, is the smart disk logs. This is going to require that you install and use the Avid Isis toolbox to be able to generate those logs. So let's talk about first, where do you find the Avid Isis toolbox and how do we generate those logs with the toolbox? So I'm going to minimize my remote desktop. The Isis toolbox can actually run on a Mac or PC and does not have to be running directly on that ISIS. It just needs to be on a system that is on the ISIS network. So on the Mac here, I'm going to go to the uh, management console and under installers, here is the under ISIS tools, we see toolbox. Now I'm going to download the disk image. Actually, I believe I already did. There's a 32-bit and a 64-bit for Windows. So make sure if you are on a Windows machine that you're downloading the proper version. So I'm going to go ahead and run the installer for the ISIS toolbox. Apple doesn't like it, it's got a developer it doesn't recognize, so a little trick I learned is go to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, under General, and there's an Open Anyway box, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to open the installer, it's going to run the installer. Just follow the prompts, you can leave everything default. I'm going to leave the Run ISIS Toolbox checked. Now, this is a big caveat here. The only way to use the ISIS toolbox is if you have a password set for your management console. So if you come into your management console and, and you leave this blank and hit go and it lets you log in, that means you have no password set. And unfortunately, the ISIS toolbox requires that there be a password. So if you know you don't have a password, you need to set that in order to use the toolbox. And remember, that can be changed under the advanced section under administrator password. When you launch Avid Isis Toolbox, it's going to ask for a host name. I just use the IP address. Uh, it seems to be uh, the easiest way to do that. Just the IP address of the Isis and your password. Within the Avid Isis Toolbox, there's a lot of tools that uh, both we and Avid support and you can use to gather logs and sort of uh, analyze the system, make sure it's healthy. What I really want to focus on though right now is the Storage Manager Log Viewer. This is where we will actually generate the smart disk logs that we can take a deeper look at to make sure our system is healthy. So what I'm going to do is click on the Storage Manager itself. And if you have multiple Storage Managers, you would do them one at a time in the list. But right now I'm just going to click on the Storage Manager. And in order to create a smart disk log or generate a new smart disk log, you're simply going to type W in the text field and then hit send command. And then it will actually tell you starting physical disk smart data dump, disk smart info written to log successfully. And then it will tell you where that log is. Now, unfortunately, the smart disk log will never be saved on anywhere other than the ISIS engine itself. So it tells you when it says D program files, Avid ISIS storage manager, that is actually on the ISIS itself. So let me jump back to the ISIS. And I will dive down into my D, program files, Avid, storage manager, logs. So that's the path that it gave me. And within here, I will see my disk smart read values underscore one. Uh, the lower the number, the more recent the log. So you'll see there have been other logs that were generated. This, however, is the most recent log. Now, a little handy tip for you. Uh, don't double click on it to open that log. You're going to want to right click and open with WordPad. Do not use Notepad. So I'm going to open with, plus that down. We'll do WordPad. And voila, we have our physical disk smart data dump from the LSI controller. So this is a little bit different than the Mega Raid. The Mega Raid gives you a real overview. This is actually looking at some really particular data from the drives. And here's the trick. What you want to see is a zero, uh, you know, 45 to 35, that's your temperature. And then you want to see zero, 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 zero. So zero, 
a double digit number, zero, 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 zero for each drive. It will tell you the slot, it will tell you the serial number of the drive, which you can match back to what MegaRaid says is the serial number of the drive. And so as I scroll down through here, what I'm looking for is anything other than zero, double digit, zero, 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 zero. And really in particular, the G list count or the relocated sector count and the uncorrectable sector count. These two numbers are indicative of if the drive is going to fail or not. So right now I see all zeros. I'm looking really happy. The temperatures vary by a few degrees, which is not a problem at all. Our little uh, server room is pretty warm. Yours, your numbers may look lower if you've got really good AC in your server room. So long story short, if you see anything other than that, you want to really be paying attention, run the smart disk logs the next day and the next day, and if those numbers are increasing, you know you've got a problem with the disk, you need to reach out to us, your uh, frontline Avid support, or you need to call Avid support directly, especially if it's on a weekend and you can't reach us in the office. And remember, you can lose one drive in each virtual disk, but if you have two drives that are showing high error counts, you are in real, real danger of having catastrophic media loss. So it is very important that if you are in that situation, please reach out to your reseller, us, or Avid Support and get that taken care of as quickly as possible. Keep in mind too that each ISIS engine, if you have multiple ISIS engines in your facility, each one needs to generate its own smart disk log. So I've only done that one engine. So let's say I have, if I have three other engines, then I would wanna go back to my ISIS toolbox, select the next engine down in the list, and do the same thing. Type W, send command, and then go to that ISIS engine and take a look at its disk smart logs. So those are just two ways that you can proactively maintain your system. I would recommend checking the Mega Raid every day, and I would check the smart disk logs once a week. If com editors are complaining and you're, you are getting slow playback and there's no other real obvious signs of trouble, the smart disk logs would be your best bet to check first. I hope you found this video informative. Please reach out to us if you have any questions. We'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.